Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take a free asset pack during the month of October, some spooky characters that they released, and you can use the Ornatrix plugin to spruce them up a little bit, make them a little bit cooler. So five different methods of using the hair plugin. So let's get started. First things first, I'm going to give you a quick little overview of the five different characters and what I did to change them. On the right is going to be the original and on the left will be the one with some Ornatrix hair added to it in different methods. So first we have this skeleton character here. Left side, we kind of made him look a little more swampy, some big dangles on him. This is a little ghoul looking guy. We added some patches of fuzzy hair to him. This guy here, dopey looking dude, just a big fur ball. Looks pretty cool, I like it. Next one, this guy, we gave him some floaty dangles, kind of vines coming out of him. And last but not least, some gross looking uh, intestines or something going on there inside of him. All right, so let's do a quick little highlight of uh, the different characters here that we got and basic idea of what I added to them using the Ornatrix plugin and how I created it. It's not a full tutorial, but should give you a rough idea of how to do something similar here. So you got this skeleton looking dude. Uh, basic material on him. He's got a little bit of glowing going on inside of him. So I changed up the, the material, just to use a Quixel Mega Scan material here. It's kind of a flesh looking skin material. And then with the Ornatrix plugin, I used the fur ball uh, component. So it just adds fur all the way around it or hair. And so this works pretty well for this kind of effect here. Made it kind of extra thick, extra long. And then I modified the actual groom itself, the physics of the groom, gave it some extra heavy weight, kind of droopy, no stiffness to it. And that really kind of just added to the effect. I also went in, it's a real basic um, hair shader, went in and modified the hair shader, gave it kind of a glossy look so it looks a little wet as if it was coming out of a swamp or something like that. For the most part, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of clipping going on, but for some real basic, simple characters, it works pretty well. Next, we have this ghoul looking guy here. Pretty simple, just a skin texture. There is a different version of this guy that has some added clothes and stuff to him. However, I went ahead with this one here and this added this, mo at first it was a mohawk. And uh, I didn't like the mohawk, so I gave the hair some droop and man, it came out looking hilarious, kind of this crazy bowl cut looking fuzzball hair going on. It's just funny. And so I started to add some extra little patches of hair around him. There's some on his back and stuff. Just kind of this weird mangly, mangy looking kind of creature going on. Pretty cool effect. This is a pretty simple hair effect that you can do with Ornatrix. Nothing too fancy. Next, we got this funny looking little goblin dude here. Just a real goofball, big weird teeth, funky eyes, and just, just silly looking dude. Perfect for just doing a big old giant furball on him. So this is super simple, just a furball effect on him. Short hair, fur everywhere. This is, I wanna say about one and a half or two million hairs going on right now. Full, Fully simulated, it's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I haven't quite figured out how to use the fur ball effect, which adds hair everywhere, and then remove pieces that I don't want. Um, otherwise, I have to hand paint everything that I do want. It's just kind of tedious, and unfortunately, it doesn't really place perfect as you're doing it. So sometimes the fur ball is just easy way to do it. And I'd love to be able to go in and modify the hairs afterwards because you can see there's hair coming out of his teeth and on his tongue, covering his eyes, stuff like that. Love to be able to go in and just remove those little spots. Once I figure that out, it'd be a lot easier and cooler. Next, we have this kind of spooky looking dude here. He kind of floats around. The texture has this uh, glowing effect to it using a Fresnel inside the texture. Modified the color of that a little bit to a red. It was a green. And then what we did with the Ornatrix plugin, we added some pretty thick, pretty long little strands coming out of them. And then by modifying the actual groom itself, I took away the gravity and added some, some wind to it, also some wind force. And this gave it this real cool kind of floaty looking, I don't know, roots or tangles coming out of them. Just a pretty neat little simple effect. Uh, this is another simple shader on there. Just added a little bit of a glow to the shader itself so that the hairs or, you know, vines or whatever would glow to. Came out pretty decent. And last but not least, there's this little zombie looking guy here. 
kind of a weird, goopy looking dude. His brain showing. He's got a little worm kind of out of him, some guts and stuff like that. So I was trying to figure out what should I do for this guy. And I decided, let's see if we can use the Ornatrix here to kind of add, I guess, more guts to it. So I went in and I added here inside the little areas of a brain and the guts or whatever going on here. And what I did is I added a decent amount of hair, super short. I added a curl to it and a frizz. And because it's so short and so dense, it's actually causing this jitteringness to happen inside of it, the physics. So it just added kind of this weird, I don't know, as if it was parasites or little bugs or something, just slightly uncomfortable. I didn't really like it, but it added a interesting effect and I think it worked really well with this guy, kind of stuff moving around inside of there. Simple shader there, nothing super fancy going on, but came out pretty cool. And that pretty much sums it up. Overall, it was pretty simple to go about doing these five different styles of how you can use the Ornatrix plugin. Now I get it. This is a free asset pack that you can get off the marketplace. And then you're talking about a $300 plugin to add this stuff. However, you can use the plugin for a whole lot more stuff than this. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not affiliated with this guy. I'm not getting any money for it or anything like that but it's really neat uh, plug-in and I love the ability to be able to create some hair and different effects like this right inside of Unreal without having to leave it at all. I did use a pretty simple hair shader for most all of these and a couple of them I actually uh, extracted the hair shader from MetaHumans. It's a little bit fancier and there's a little more control over different things. I think for this big fuzzy goblin here, I ended up using that shader because looked a little bit nicer and they have some other cool effects that you can do with inside the uh, metahuman shader. Uh, same thing with this guy, use the metahuman shader, it made it look a little more realistic on the hair. So I think that's going to do it guys. I hope that you like this video. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below if you have any questions, subscribe, all that good stuff and I appreciate it and until next time, peace out.